Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome to my YouTube channel with a very important lecture from the literary movement that is theater of absurd or absurdism. So let's get through it. Absurdism or theater of absurd refers to the work of group of Western European and American dramatists in the time span 1950 and 1960. Term theater of absurd was first time coined by Martin Eslin and during the 1942. It's common features of new style of drama that is named as theater of absurd or absurdism. They ignored the theatrical convention and opposed or thwarted the audience expectations. And their work is departed from realistic character and situation. You will find no clear notion of time and place in which action occurs. It is a violation of setting and they follow the philosophy of existentialism that mean the character which are depicted you will find there is and their life contains no meaning or you will see that their life is meaningless. Characters are often nameless and seem interchangeable. It means that you will find there is a lack of identity. Dialogue and incident may appear to the audience as completely nonsensical, even partial. The dialogue that uh, they are using in particular drama, you will see that they make no sense. Events are irrational and may have nightmarish quality associated with surrealism. Surrealism is a post one war movement. Its features are the dream sequence and image from the unconscious, often they are the sexual in nature. You will find the theme of loneliness and isolation if you probe. You will see in the surface, uh, you will find the element of the loneliness and isolation as well. Its major writers are the Samuel Beckett, He's a Nobel Prize winner, born in Fox Rock, Dublin, Ireland on April 13, 1906. He's famous for Waiting for Godot, considered by many critics the defining works of absurdism. Eugene Lonisco, he was born in Slatina, Romania on November 26, 1909. He got French citizenship and spent most of the life in Paris. He was painter and playwright, the battle the Ball Soprano, The Listen and Rhinosaurs, 1959. Lunesco used black humor to criticize social and political institution. Harold Pinter, he was born in October 10, 1930 to Hayman and Francis, London, England. He was an actor, playwright and Nobel Prize winner. He's famous for the work The Room, Birthday Party, The Dumb Waiter and The Caretaker. Arthur Adamo. He was born on August 23, 1908 in Kislovodsk, Russia. He wrote poetry, essays and autobiography. But famous as in playwright, he associated with surrealism and absurdism. Plays written in French focus on loneliness and isolation of all humans. Famous for the play La Ping Pong that is translated as The Ping Pong, 1959. Edward Albee, he was born on March 12. 1928 in Virginia to unknown parents who gave him for adoption shortly after the birth. His adopted father was Reed Albee who owned Keith Albee Theater Circuit, famous for the work The Zoo Story that is a one-act play, The Sandbox and The American Dream. The themes usually when you probe the play you will see the following themes, absurdity, cruelty and violence, Domination, futility and passivity, loneliness and isolation. Language you will see that is the gibberish that make no sense. Dialogues that are uses, used in absurd display you will see that they make no sense. And you will find the element of materialism as well. Style. In style different things are counted just like characters. In absurdism, characters are often abandon the traditional character development to offer figures who have no clear identity or distinguishing features. They even be interchangeable as for as are the sporting character and waiting for Godot, who appears as a master and servant in the first act. 
and trade place when they return for the second act. Dialogue are the artificial in dialogue they use the artificial language that is empty of meaning, consisting of slogans and cliche, that is the hallmark of the movement. Plot plot also abandon the conventional notions of plot. Beckett's Waiting for Godot has been described as play in which nothing happens. Its opening line is nothing to be done. Setting. Use of setting is most unconventional, unconventional stylistic feature of absurdism. Typically an absurdist play is set in no recognizable time or place. Stage setting tend to be sparse, conveying the sense of emptiness associated with characters' lives. So guys, this that's all about the very important literary movement. So I hope that <clears throat> everything will be clear if there is any query. So you can ask in the comment. Thank you so much for watching.